For a man whose calling has been the stage, this will be the performance of a lifetime. Guy La Liberté, the founder of the Cirque du Soleil Circus, is preparing to be the seventh space tourist in history. It's quand même le vieux rêve d'enfance de quand le premier homme a marché sur la lune. This is my childhood dream. When the first man walked on the moon, I was 10 years old. I was at summer camp. The camp counselor had set up a black and white TV in the middle of the woods. I still remember it. And we spent the evening watching the event. Training before takeoff means an intense session at Star City, the Russian cosmonauts' facility outside Moscow. Five months to learn how to assist the crew aboard the Soyuz rocket and to expect the unexpected. An exotic and expensive joyride. La Liberté, listed as the world's 261st biggest fortune, is paying 35 million euros to get closer to the stars. I want this to be an artistic experience, in the sense that I want this to be visually stimulating. I want to take photos, to look around me, and I want this to be spiritually motivating. I have the feeling this will be a wonderful opportunity for meditation, and then also just to let myself go with my head in the stars. For his 10-day journey out of the atmosphere, La Liberté is traveling light, with essentials only, packing nine clown noses, one for each astronaut on the International Space Station.